Hey, good morning, you guys. Real quick. Let me make a quick video. So, as you see the video I posted before, I talk fast. Sorry if you don't understand me, but I try to get everything out in a few minutes of time. Um, if you see the video that I posted previously in regard to AI, pay attention to that, you guys, because AI is taking over. Because I be sitting there thinking, like, why do these people think we some criminals? How do they have proof? They could, and you know what? When I first got targeted, is with people around taking pictures of me. I don't know if you guys experienced that too. Everywhere you go, you see somebody trying to sneak a picture of you like you're a celebrity, right? And then you see all these new AI technologies where they can make Obama say, like, what's up? And, you know, he doesn't talk like that. So I'm assuming that that's how they're getting people to believe by showing them, like, look, this person does this, da da da, making them match the character that they lied and displayed you to be. Because I'm looking like, when they meet you, these people don't get that stigma of what is being said. So how are they so naive to believe what is going on? Because I got people that's adamant, like, I'm proof that what they said about her is right. Like, they're working to prove that you are a criminal, right? Okay, it's this AI stuff, because let me tell you story time about my phone. I'm getting text messages from my friends, and I'm looking like my friend normally don't do that, but let me double check. So I screenshotted her message, and I was like, did you send this? And she was like, I don't even talk like that, or I didn't do that. And I was like, well, it's coming from your phone, and like that. And she was like, no. And then this, And then my other friend was posting on my um videos saying stuff that was kind of like why are you saying that but i never confronted it but now i'm starting to think that it's this ai stuff getting information hacked out of your phone and taking your friend list and doing it because i had one of my cousins text me say hey what's your address i ain't talked to you in years this was two months ago she never sent me nothing never came to visit so now i'm sitting here like okay then i text her the same number which i shouldn't have did i should have went into all the way in my contact and text her number because the number that they seen can be in a link that's on going directed to them so that's why they can respond too so i text her like hey you asked me for my address are you sending me something or not and the response she was like oh i will Girl, who gets somebody's address like two months in advance and you're not about to send nothing? I guess, you know what I mean? Most people say the date, something, nothing, no gift, no nothing, right? So you got to be careful with this AI stuff, uh, okay? This story time, okay, update you guys. So remember I told you, I told my manager, like, these people be doing too much. I don't care what people say about me, but I care how people treat me. Because if I'm a teacher respect, I, I, I think I deserve the respect too, right? And so he hits me up and say, FYI, I handled that. I talked to them. Guess what? They don't do it anymore for now. For now, they don't do it. Um, but I'm just letting you know, speaking up does help minimize the stress that you're going in. It might not stop it 100%. They still going to talk about you. They still going to watch you from a distance. I want them to watch me. I want them to watch me. I know that sounds crazy, but I don't want them to stop watching me because that way you can be easy set up. You want some honest people watching you because like I said, the girl that was harassing me, she was honest. She said, yeah, I did that. Yeah, I did. She wasn't, she not no game because she probably looking like, well, dang, I was told to do that. So I'm not going to lie to this girl. Honest. And when I told him she admitted to doing that, he looked at me like, she admitted it. He got mad. What you mean she admitted it? Yeah, she admitted it. She said, yeah, she was doing it. And, and then that was it. And I said, and I, to this day, I speak to this woman. I say, good morning. Bye. If we got to communicate about our consumers, that's what we're going to do. Because I know it's not you, but I'm telling you, you need to stop because you're getting involved in something that you're not supposed to because it's a lie. It's all a lie, right? So I'm telling you, speaking up does help. Even when I told you I spoke up to my neighbors about, I said, oh my God, I told you I was in a witness thing too. <laughs> guess what? The neighbor was like, I oh don't know, you're talking about Kiki. <laughs> but guess what? They don't, they ain't been out in a while. That's been over a month now. They ain't been on the lurk like they was heavily on me so bad that I felt uncomfortable. They sitting there waiting, holding the gate. They don't do that no more. So speaking up does help. Y'all have a blessed day. I hope y'all enjoy this new platform of sharing other people's stories. Because somebody on my somebody on my page is going to say, why do you think it's only happening to you? You're watching my other videos. So if you see other people's testimony, why are you still asking me, is it only happening to you? And this person does watch my other videos. So I was kind of offended by that. But like, I, like again, it could be AI. 
pay attention to this AI match. I'll talk to y'all soon. It won't hang up. Sorry.